I don't know, six in one, half a dozen in the other. If I can, it just it just be that way sometimes, I guess. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get on to Big Bertha one and Big Bertha two. You, you ready? Sure. You ready? Is your are your loins girded on this one? As much as they can be. All right, let's talk about this wound threshold system. I don't like it. Let's get uh, okay. Hold on. Oh, gee, easy, easy, easy. Fucking shooting from the hip over here. So. I just want to say, as a GM, the wound system is kind of not a big deal on on the GM side of the table, because for me, uh, adversaries just sort of engage with the system less because, A, some of them don't have a severe threshold at all. Like some adversaries only have a minor and a major. So there's that. And then a lot of the values of the thresholds are quite a bit smaller on enemies. Like the numbers are closer together. Like I think a skeleton warrior has a major of four and a severe of eight, right? So those values are closer together and just generally smaller. So the math is kind of easier. And uh, adversaries don't have armor at all. They cannot spend armor in any way to reduce the damage. So whatever damage they take is the damage they take. So for me on the GM side, you know, it's still a mechanic I have to pay attention to, but quite a bit less. And so it didn't really end up bothering me very much. On the player side, however, where, where, um, where are you at on that? Well, considering that, it, you know, we were playing, the, the combat we were doing was 1.3 or 1.2. Um, well, no, it was mostly 1.3, actually. We only did one session of 1.2. Uh, well, I mean, with that in mind, um, yeah, you just kind of get smacked. Like, it's kind of strange. It's like, oh yeah, use this, I'll use your armor, which is a limited resource, to reduce damage. But just based on how the numbers are working out, I took, for on average, more severe level threats, uh, more, more severe level wounds than anything else. Like I took a few high, but I took quite a few severe which meant my armor's gone in two rounds, and then you're just eating damage of which you don't have a lot of, you know? It just felt kind of... Haphazard isn't the right word, but like... It just felt like you're not supposed to fight, if that makes sense. I mean, I don't know about not supposed to fight. You're definitely supposed to, I think, fight probably less often than you might be expected to in D&D or something like that, for sure. Um, well, th that's for sure. But like it, for me, like, the, you know, one of the longer combats we had, I think lasted like three or four rounds. And I was out of arms. I had I had burned five of my whatever. How many armor slots? I had six. one armor slot left after two rounds of combat. Yeah. And I was just like, what the fuck is this? What is happening right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, th I think, yeah, I don't know. Like you can't, the thing is like, you can regenerate armor on short rest, which is a factor to consider. Um, but yes, it did seem like you guys burned through the armor pretty fast. But I mean, if, if that's your only complaint about it, then honestly, that's kind of an easy fix. That just requires some number tweaking, you know, higher armor values or higher wound thresholds or maybe more HP or like that. If if the problem is just you felt like you got smacked too fast and too hard, that that can be fixed fairly easily in terms of just moving numbers around. You know what I mean? Or maybe even just yeah, a, it, decreasing monster damage. Like you know, there's lots of ways you could sort of mess with that. Uh, um, I mean, I, I, I would need experience as a GM with this game to say for sure. But I do find it kind of weird that, you know, let's say a, a, a severe threshold, right? Like, let's say for a monster, it's 15 points. Yeah. Uh, by taking one level for my per my per, and, and boosting my proficiency yeah. one. So I'm doing 2d8 yes. plus 1d6. Yeah. And then if I burn two hope, I was doing 25 plus damage. Yep. 
which felt kind of weird. Like it, it felt like the game was actively trying to dissuade you from smacking something as hard as you can or like, like, I don't know. I feel like uh, Rogue is the perfect class to be like, fuck it. I'm just going to burn all my hope on this one shot and one and, and literally one shot something. Right. I'm going to do the, the Fire Emblem Silencer sure shot kill ability. Uh, except you literally you can't, can't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you can't. literally can't yeah. because it will max out at three damage. Yeah. So you're like, oh, so I, I just I just blew my entire load. And now I have nothing and I'm going to get smacked because the dragon yeah, just you, refuses. You know what well, I mean? You, like, well, what? you don't. Yeah, you don't want to blow your entire load. You want to blow enough load that you feel like you can get a full three damage, but you don't want to blow so much load that you're like wasting hope on extra damage for no reason. Yeah, it's yeah, there's like a happy medium there. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't think about I don't have to think about that on the GM side because the monster damage is just is what it is. They don't tend to have a lot of ways to like adjust their own damage and shit. So hmm. not really a concern. Um, well, but I think I it think does... it matters more for Rogue because they are really squishy, so they have to end things as quickly as possible. Well, and because yeah. you can only do three damage, you are actively limiting how fast they can end things, which means yes. at some point, especially, you know, we're going to talk about this later with the action tracker, you're going to get smacked. I think, well, I think part of the limiting, I mean, s s side note, you're, I think you're overshooting your squishiness a little bit because the wizard uh, still exists, but <laughs> um, the, uh, I think the intention Basically, I think they're trying to avoid the I just one shot the boss situations. I think is is what they're trying to get around. So by making it so that the. The, um, you know, the most damage you can ever do is three. And if a boss has like six health, then, you know, as a GM, it's going to survive bare minimum to like sort of two two round, not even two attacks, really. The funny thing is, though, you still could just one shot the boss before it does anything because one rogue player attacks and then the the warrior player attacks and then you both do enough damage to both do three damage and then it dies anyway. So actually, that's not even sure. It's not even necessarily. Doing it's not a, it's not guaranteeing the monster gets to act. It makes it a lot more likely that the monster gets to act, obviously, but it's not guaranteeing it. Yeah, uh, it, it just yeah, it feels weird there. I, I just. I just still don't understand what it's for. I just don't get what the point of the wound threshold system is. Because well, so like I, I get it for players. I totally do. I don't. Well, because don't. you're for the most part, you're still going to have like unless you actively put points into your health. You don't gain any extra health on a level unless you choose to do that, which takes away from something else. Right. So being like, oh, the wizard who can only take three points of damage total if the wizard never wants to up their health, and that means even at end game, they're not just going to get one shot whacked and then they're done. You know what I mean? That oh, makes sense at, to me. At the bare minimum, they'd have to get hit twice. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's true. That's true. But, you know, I don't I don't know. I don't see any reason why health in this game couldn't just work like 5e, honestly, like not to as much as I'm, you know, uh, 5e can go fuck itself guy. Like, I don't see any reason why you can't just have a health number that goes up at a fairly consistent basis. You know what I mean? Like, that seems fine. And it seems like they're trying to reinvent the wheel. And I'm not really seeing what the point of reinventing the wheel is here. You know, because it seems like uh, more I mean, headache than it's worth. Like the juice ain't worth uh, the squeeze. Well, for me, I feel like it's number creep. Like, and you are getting number creep. You're not you like no matter what. You're going to get number creep, especially if you're talking about what I'm talking about, which is uncap enemies and keep the cap on players or vice versa. Sorry. Right. Um, right. You're, you're reducing that on the player side, right? A player doesn't have to go, oh, well, I have 200 HP, but the dragon's breath is 75 HP, which brings me down to like, you're like, oh, OK, it hit me as hard as it can. I'm now I've taken three wounds or three HP. I'm at half health. I know that sure and that feels good thematically, right? It's a dragon. It doesn't really matter how hard or light it whacks you. It's 80 feet tall. If it flicks you, you're going to take three wounds. You know what I mean? Is the number creep that bad, though, in 5e? You know, like at later levels? Yes, 
it is that bad. I don't feel like I it love is. being a DPS, but me looking at you as the dungeon master and being like, okay, so I hit you twice. Okay, so that's 2d8 plus uh, two attacks. So that's another 68. Uh, and then I'm going to have this thing that does another. It, the numbers just keep adding. And then you but, like. But is the problem there the, the size of the numbers? Or is the problem just that you have 800 different things that's all affecting the final value? You know what I mean? Like, I don't think the size of the number. For sure. Huh? Both go into it for sure. I guess I don't feel like the I don't feel like the the overall size of the number is necessarily the problem there. You know, like every time Sam took a turn in our 5e campaign, the reason I got annoyed wasn't the fact that Sam was doing a big number. The reason I got annoyed is because Sam had to calculate his damage from five different sources. He had sneak attack, divine smite, the base weapon damage, the magical bonus damage from the weapon itself, and then the improved divine smite damage. And he had to add those all together. The problem was that he had, had to add five damage numbers together. If it was just he rolled two dice and then got a big number that then I wouldn't, you know, wouldn't have bothered me. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I guess like it's it's the adding stuff for, together from a bunch of different places, I think that causes the clunkiness more so than the damage being big itself. And you still like if that's the problem Daggerheart's trying to avoid, I don't even know if it's really avoiding that, you know? Because you're no, still it's, rolling it's just sort of changing it for something else. That's that's true. Yeah, because you're still rolling um, a bunch of damage dice and adding them together to get a number and then comparing a number to a chart. So why do we need the chart? Can we not just skip the chart and just subtract like we do in five? You know what I mean? Because you're still because the number, the damage numbers in Daggerheart are still going to get pretty big because if you have a player care, if you have a player who levels up their proficiency every single level, they're going to be rolling six six damage dice from their weapon and adding that all together and then attacking that's no different than in 5e really you're still adding a bunch of dice together and then getting a big number the difference is in dagger heart i'm comparing the big number to this chart i have i don't feel like it's if it's trying to avoid that problem i don't feel like it's avoiding that problem if that's the objective i don't even know if that is the objective well but if I, it know, is. I, I think you're avoiding it a little bit, right? Because it's like, if you know your major threshold is 15. Oh, because you, take, you, you can take 80 damage. You go, OK, right. so I took three it, HP. I took three. Yeah, that's true. If you see the number go big enough, you know, just you don't have to math it out. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You might have an argument there. There's something there. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I, 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 I want to just throw it out. That's where I'm at. I, I don't want to throw it out, but I uh, it, I think it really needs some iteration. Uh, like, like a lot of my complaints, I don't, it might seem like I have a lot of them. I don't actually. It's just the things that I am complaining about, I think need a lot of iteration. Yeah. And or complete reworks, and I don't think that's going to happen. I, for, for me, I look at the wound threshold thing, and I think, throw it out. Just have a normal sort of health cur curve like you would in 5e and then the armor system just keep as is and subtracts from the incoming damage like it would in something like Star Wars. That's what I would say. That's where I'm at. Hmm. But the argument, the argument you're making of eventually you get to know your chart and you just know if you see a certain number above a certain amount, then, oh, I took three damage. There is a little bit of an argument there. Yeah, that's probably true. Although your thresholds can change throughout the campaign, but I guess they don't change that often. So it's not a huge deal. Maybe. Maybe the solution is throw out the thresholds completely on the GM side and just leave them for the players. That's what I was just saying. <laughs> I know and I wasn't totally agreeing with it, but now that I'm thinking about it, maybe that is the move. I didn't agree with you initially, but maybe maybe you maybe you're right. Yeah, like maybe that is because. Yeah, because the GM doesn't get because the thing about the on the GM side is I have to constantly check the chart because every monster, you know, every adversary has a different wound threshold chart, so I can't I don't have the luxury of memorizing the way a player does. So, yeah. 
Yeah, maybe that is what it is. Maybe just monsters should just have big health pools and players have the threshold system. Because I'd be okay with that because the game already has differences between adversaries and PCs and the way they work, which I like. That's a good thing. I don't like... I want a game to have the two sides of the table play differently because the needs... The needs of the GM and the needs of a player are different. So I want to keep that. So yeah, if the hell... If the HP work differently, because here's the thing, monsters already attack differently. They have different bonuses when they attack. They don't have stats like players. Their moves don't work the same. You know, they spend actions. The players don't like basically monsters don't do anything the same as player characters with the exception of the wound thresholds and stamina stress. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And stress. So. Yeah. Right, because like, did they do anything? else yeah no yeah like they don't even have like an evasion stat they have a number called difficulty and their difficulty number is it's their evasion but it's also like if you're trying to sneak around a guard the difficulty number also acts as their like their perception essentially the difficulty number if you're trying to like break a grapple it tre it's basically just a catch-all bonus number it's just a catch-all number or the adversary that the player has to beat to overcome that adversary. So like, they don't mm -hmm. even have evasions or DCs of any kind, <laughs> or they have one DC that covers everything. So yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. Throw the wound, th yeah, throw the wound system out for monsters or for adversaries. I'm calling them monsters for adversaries. Get that crap out of here. <laughs> yes. I still don't know Perfect. if I like it. For, I still don't know if I like it for players. I'm in debate on that, but you're you're slowly convincing me the other direction. Ever so slowly. Fair enough. OK, Your progress. Next one, however. I. Please, God, just throw it out. I can't. I can't. The action. Yeah, tracker, I, like it. I can't. I can't with the action. Like just it. get rid of it.